Hello and welcome to this product demonstration and training on how to terminate fiber optic cable with Corning Unicam connectors. I'll be demonstrating an SC plug termination on both a jacketed and a tight buffered fiber. If you're doing a distribution style fiber, this is all you're going to have it is, a bunch of fibers like this. So they're all 900 micron, basically, buffered fibers. So in these case, you want to go ahead and do a prep a connector first. So I'm going to take the tool, press the button to make sure it's ready, turn it on, open my connector. So you'll have two boots inside the connector. One is for jacketed fiber, one is for tight buffered fiber, and you'll have your copper crimp tube and your shroud. So you do, in this case, you want to have the uh, connector body to load in the tool. You take your connector, remove the rear and the front dust caps. Then you want to load this into the tool. So you press the load bar to get the uh, load bar out of the way. Drop this down inside the carriage here. Let the load bar drop. Make sure your lead-in tube is protruding out the back. So your lead-in tube should be showing out the back here. Connector is lined up. I'm going to go ahead and close this and seat it all the way. I shut it and there's no yellow light flashing. That means everything's good. As a demonstration, if I drop the VFL down but didn't lock it, I get a fail because it's sensing escaping light. I'm going to go ahead and reset it by turning it on, turning it off again, lock it all the way down. I'm good to go. So I can set this tool aside until it's ready to terminate. So this is the boot for tight buffered fiber, uh, tight buffered uh, 900 micron fiber. Very small opening. So I'll lay this up the cable first. And then I'll go ahead and uh, do my measurements on the cable per the templates that come with it. So I'm going to mark it at 40 millimeters. I'm going to mark it at 11 millimeters. The 11 millimeter mark I just made is actually just a reference mark. I'm not going to strip anything to that dimension. I'm only going to strip to the 40 millimeter mark. So using the tri-hole stripper, I'm going to be using the second cavity, the middle cavity, to strip off the primary or the secondary buffer. So I'm going to do this in small quarter inch bites. Make sure my tool is perpendicular and not at an angle. Just crimp and pull, crimp and pull until you get to the first mark you made at 40 millimeters. Once you're done with that, you've got your secondary buffer removed. All that's left is the primary buffer, which is that UV cured acrylic. Using the last cavity, the, the innermost cavity on the tool, I'm going to go ahead and do the same operation with quarter inch bites. Again, making sure the tool is nice and perpendicular. You do not want to have it at an angle, otherwise you'll cut your glass and have to do it all over again. Once I get all this back all the way, I'm ready to clean the fiber. So I'm going to use a lint-free cloth, some fiber cleaning fluid, comes with the toolkit. I'm going to do two passes, one, two. I hear a nice audible squeak, tells me I got a good clean on it. Now the cleaving tool, it's got a template on it. One template is for a 2.9 millimeter, 3 millimeter jacketed fiber, and the other template is for 900 micron type buffered fiber. I'm doing 900 micron type buffered fiber, so I'm going to switch it around, make sure it's seated all the way. I'm going to go ahead and press both buttons to open the tool, slide my prepped fiber up into the tool until it stops. Once it stops, I'll hold it and release both buttons. Then I'll press the red button once and release it. Still holding the fiber, I'm going to go ahead and press the blue button nice and firmly. That cleaves the fiber. Now I press the black button and pull my fiber out. And I'll have my cleaved fiber. And I'll also have the shard, the leftover fiber, safely stored in the tool here. I can now remove this and then throw it away. This is the cleaved clean fiber ready for insertion into the tool. That black mark that we made originally at 11 millimeters is just a reference to tell us that we've got it seated far enough into the connector. So I'm going to take my tool, I'm going to insert the fiber into the lead-in tube, and then feed it all the way in until it bottoms out. 
what will happen is that black mark that we made is going to be uh, within two millimeters of the cover, which it is. I'll crimp it. So I just cammed it with this button, and I have a green light. If I had a red light, that means something went wrong, I would go ahead and press this release button, as so, and I could reseat the fiber and do it again. So green light, I'm good. Next step is to crimp the connector. This is the crimping mechanism for the tool. So I'll do 180 degree turn one time, just like that. So now it's crimped. I'm going to release my cover, holding the load bar in place, push the VFL out of the way, and then gently release the load bar and lift the connector out. So final assembly on the SC connector, I take my boot that we slid up the cable earlier and I push it on and seat it all the way up. I'll take my dust cap and place it in place to prevent the, any sort of contamination on the end face. And then the uh, last step is going to be to assemble the shroud. I'm going to put the shroud on, push firmly until it clicks, and that completes a tight buffered termination.